um good evening my brothers and sisters in the hello i'm your boy oscar the prosper welcome to the end time show um it's about 8 p.m uh, maybe nine o'clock now i want to talk to you guys about the power of the tongue okay the power of the tongue now i i, 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 I was watching a movie you know I was, I was in an African African movie, actually, Nigeria's movie. And I read, I was in a gym with something, so something caught my attention. Okay? About, about this, those uh, parents cursing their children. It caught my attention. It caught my attention. So, so I, I had a desire, seeing yesterday, seeing two days, so I had a desire to, to, to study about the power of the tongue and to talk about it. The desire was in my heart. So I decided to make this video to let you guys know how important it is about your tongue okay let's get into it let's get into it right now in the name of jesus let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it now before we get into it before we get to it I, 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 I want to pray a short prayer okay bear with me let's pray a short prayer, prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I will bless your name right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, oh God, I come before you, oh God, as your humble servant in the name of Jesus. Father God, as, as I preach, oh God, I teach about the power of the tongue, oh God. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Those that will listen to it, oh God, and those that will hear it, oh God, let their life transform to good in the name of Jesus. Father God, I charge you out of fear in the name of Jesus. Every power, every authority that is up for you, oh God, that is trying to fight against this message, oh God. Let the God that is so prayer by fire answer this prayer. Scatter them forever in the name of Jesus. And I pray, oh God, those that will give the ear to listen to this word, oh God, let, let your blessing, let your will be done upon the life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, let's get into it right now. Let's get into it. If you have your Bible, if you have your Bible, Please, please, I want you to study these three chapters, okay? The first chapter is, um, is Proverbs 18, 21, okay? That's the first one, okay? That's the first one, and, and, and let me get my note, let me get my note right here, let me get my note ready, okay? The second one is Romans 3, 13, okay? And the last, and the, and the last one is James 3, 6 to 8. Okay, James 3, 6 to 8, Romans 3, 13, and a Proverbs 18, 21. Okay, these are the scriptures we're about to read today in the name of Jesus. Now, <clears throat> now the Bible say, the Bible say, the Bible say in the book of Proverbs 18, 21, it say, it say, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the food thereof. You see? You see? The Bible says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's what God, God said also in the Bible. He said, I, I put before you life and death. Choose life so you will live. Okay? Now, now, life is in the power of the tongue. Whatever you speak, it will come to pass. Your words, your world will be established. It will come to pass. Because you have angels around you 24-7 that, that are taking records. Okay? They are angels that is now that God assigned to your life to take records. Every word that come out of your mouth, they will take records. I don't care what it is, they will take records. I don't care if you're joking or you say something uh, to me, a friend Matt. You know, in, I, you know, I will, I will let you play one day. You will let you play one. You just say, like, oh, you stupid boy, you stupid girl, we used to play one. Bomb. But to God, every word that comes out of your mouth is important. Okay? No words come out of your mouth go, will go in vain. Because, because, because God will take record. There are angels that are taking record to the four seven around you. Okay? Anything you do, any word you say, they will take records. Yeah, to you, to you, to you, you, you might be joking, but to God it is serious because God, because because you are made in the image of God. Okay, you are made in the image of God. That's why that's why anything you say will come to pass because you are made in the image of God. You are made in the image of God. In in, in, in the book of Genesis, God said, "Let us create man in our image." You are made in the image of God. So anything you say out of your mouth. 
will be established because you are made in the image of God. I don't care if you are Christian, I don't care if you are if, 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 if you are Islam, whatever you whatever you speak, as a human being, you are made in the image of God. Especially if you are Christian, especially if you are born again Christian, you call yourself born again Christian. Somebody may you mad and you cause that person, that person will be caught for life. Because the, that's what Bible says here. Jesus said. Jesus said, not the war that go in. He said, he said, not the war that go in the man, the final man. But he said, the war that proceed out of the mouth of man, the final man. That means the war you speak out. Because, 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 because it already in your stomach. It come out. Okay? It come out, it come out evil. Okay? Okay? It come out evil. That's what the Bible said. The heart of man is wicked. Because, because the Bible said the heart of man is wicked because, 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 because it's in your heart and you put it out and you speak it and it's final, it can't go back again. You see, your word cannot go back again, it cannot go back again. So, so, Perry, please, I don't care what your children do or what your child do to you, your children do something to you, do not open your mouth and curse them because when you curse them, it will stay on them forever. Okay, it will stay on them forever. That's what God said. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Okay? Some people, right? Suppose so they uh, if, if they if, if they go to a struggle, they will say, Oh, they will say, Me, my life, my life, you says, my life day, my life day. Anything you say concerning your life will come to pass. Anything you say will come to pass because you are made in the image of God. So I want my brothers and sisters in the Lord to learn how to wash their mouth before you speak. Because there are angels that are taking records. Anything you say will come to pass. I don't care what it is. Okay? Do not speak anything evil against yourself. Because you speak anything evil against yourself, it will come to pass. You call yourself useless, you'll be useless. You call yourself useful, you'll be useful. You call yourself blessed, you'll be blessed. You call yourself prosper, you'll be prosper. Anything you call yourself, God will honor it because you are made in the image of God. That's what Jesus wants us many times to, to learn how to wash our mouth. But the Bible say, but and the, and the Bible say, and so yes or no. But any other word is evil. It's in the Bible. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Now let's go to. Now, now let's go to Romans. Romans quick. Romans quick. Romans quick. Pick your Bible quick. And let's go to Romans right now. Quick, 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 quick. The book of Romans 3. Let's go to. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go to Romans quick. Ah, no. Romans chapter 3. Alright. Romans 3.13. Romans 3.13. Romans 3.13. Alright. 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 You say the throat is an open sepulchre. With the tongue, they have news decree. And the the poison of the poison of us is under their lips. You see? You see? You see, is that Baba said? No, no, Baba said right here. With the throat. The throat is an open supplicant. Oh, yeah. Do, do, I, I want that to say. Somebody do something to you. You're causing that person your day. Your child do something to you. You cause a child to day break. You can start causing your child. You cause it. You call it all kind of name. Your mind, you open. I, 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 your mind, you're like a toilet. You're open. You speak. You speak evil against your child. Cause him. Cause her. Do all kind of evil things. Say all kind of things against your own child. Your, your, your mouth become the open supplicant. Your, anything come out of your mouth, you say. You say to your child. You say to anybody. You say to them that, that, to them that hurt your feelings. You say to them that hurt you so much. But Jesus said, forgive. Forgive. If you don't forgive, your heavenly friend will not forgive you. So, so you crush your friend. You just open the word. Your mouth is an open supplicant. Okay? Okay? And the tongue, the, you see? And when your mouth, you decree. Okay? Anything come out of your mouth is a decree. Anything come out of your mouth is a decree. Anything your tongue put outside is a decree. And God will honor it. Okay? God will honor it. God will honor it. And let, and let's go to the book of James. James 3. 
the book of Jude. The book of Jim 3, 3, 6 to 7. Okay, Jim, Jim 3, 6 to 7. Jim 3, 6 to 7. It says, the tongue is a fire. A world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members. That A, defy the whole body. And set on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast, of bird, of serpent, of the thing in the sea is dim and have been dim of mankind. But the tongue cannot be dim. It is, it is, it is an unruly evil, full of deadliest poison. You hear that? No, but, but, but I was saying, I was saying, can control. You can control the animals, you can control serpent, you can control all these things there. But you cannot control your tongue. You cannot control your tongue because anything can eye your tongue, your tongue is evil. Hell follow your tongue. Hell follow your tongue. Because devil use your tongue to do evil. Devil want you to say something out of your mouth. Because anything you say will come to pass and will get will stand forever and ever. I don't care. It's time, it's time to repent. Okay? Time to repent. If you are using your tongue. Against somebody, you say something evil, say start to repent. Because you don't repent, hell is gonna be your home. Hell is gonna be your home for eternity. Okay, hell is a real place. So we should learn how to mind our talk. We should speak good things, even even though even though things things are looking bad. Okay, things will look bad in your life. Because that's why that that's what the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, that's what there is testimony. Okay, without test, there's no testimony. You have to go through some test to have testimony. So, so if you go through some struggle, do not do not condemn yourself. Do not use any evil against yourself. Neither use any evil against somebody. Okay, don't use any evil against somebody. I don't care what they did to you. I don't care what happened to you. I don't care what the person is there to do. You should forgive and forget. Do not use your mouth, your tongue to curse a person or listen evil to a person. Because if you do that, curse will follow you forever. Because anything you say is written down. Anything come out of your mouth, it is written down. Repeat, I'll repeat myself. Anything come out of your mouth, it is written down. There are angels that are follow you 24 7. Anything you say, it will come to pass. It will, God will honor it. It will come to pass because it is written down. I repeat myself. It is written down. It just are written down. Every single so because you will stay in front of God one day. You will stay in front of God one day at the judgment throne, at the judgment seat. Jesus will say when you 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 open your book, you open your book, and every word you say it will be in that book. And there's nothing you can do. You cannot lie. 